Hi, I'm Jane Garapik. I remember having so many conversations with my girlfriends about what we thought was the statistical likelihood of finding our very own Mr. Wright. You see, like many of us back then, I believed that there was only one single Mr. Wright meant for me, my soulmate, the one. And after looking at our ever-growing lists of must-haves and how many men in any given population would meet those criteria, we all came to the conclusion that our odds of meeting him were not greater than about 1 in 10 million. It was depressing, and rightly so, because from that viewpoint, the chances of each of us meeting our respective Mr. Wright and living happily ever after was about as good as winning the lottery. It also helped to explain why we were all feeling so desperate and anxious, feeling like we needed to spend every spare moment out there looking for him. See, looking back, it all made perfect sense, because... If you think about it, if you truly believe that there's only one man in 10 million who is going to be right for you, then of course you're going to behave in such desperate ways. Those kinds of numbers make your search take on a whole different urgency and create such a feeling of anxiousness, it makes you crazy in the process. And it elicits the type of unhealthy behavior that only ends up hurting you in the end. But what if you knew that, in reality, the opposite were true? What if it wasn't so much about finding that one in 10 million who will be right for us, but instead, what if there were actually many different men who could be right for you at, at various points in time, different men who come into our lives, and many of them have the potential to be our very own Mr. Right if we only give them the chance? Often we look right past them because they don't have the outward package that we're insisting on, or they have some flaw that we just can't get past, or what, what is usually the case is it's because they simply aren't the way that we pictured our Mr. Right and that wonderful imagination of ours. All too often we refuse to see them for who they really are and all that they have to offer because we're so hung up on our old belief systems that there is only one single person that is the right one. And how scary is that? Think about that. Talk about pressure. I mean, if you mess up and you pick the wrong Mr. Right, and then the right Mr. Right comes along, what do you have then? The entire concept is just nerve wracking and crazy making. And that's just what it does. It makes us crazy. Well, I've got some good news for you because there's more than one single possible Mr. Right for you. There's more than one possible soulmate for your soul. And the even better news is that it's not so much about him or any particular possible Mr. Right. It's really about you and your ability to see someone clearly for who they really are and what they have to offer you and who you really are and what you have to offer them. When you clearly see who you are and what you have to offer it changes everything because in that moment when you finally realize there's a place of abundance of love and men here and not that old familiar place of scarcity and limited resources, you're going to discover that love is all around you. And there are so many men out there who might be your Mr. Right if you're just willing to open your eyes and heart a little bit further. I want to hear from you. What do you think about your chances of finding the right guy for you? Tell us your thoughts below in the comments so we can talk about it. And as always, if you know of anyone you think might benefit from this video, please share it with them. Let them know about it. Also, remember to click the thumbs up button if you liked it. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You don't want to miss any of the videos I've got coming. I do a new one once a week, usually on Sundays. I'll see you in the next one.